helping out uh, as well uh, this morning. Financial news does matter. And also, Deutsche Bank matters with good news today. And in Frankfurt is our Stephen Ahrens uh, with coverage here. Stephen, very simply on Deutsche Bank, this is the news that Mr. Saving has been waiting for. Is this positive news today a surprise? Uh, it's certainly a surprise. It certainly surprised markets. The stock's up. Uh, it was up as much as 9 percent earlier today on the news. That's the most since April last year um, and certainly the most since seven took over. It took over in April. So, yes, uh, a big surprise. Certainly good news for Deutsche Bank. They need to move quickly. Is the timeline sped up for Deutsche Bank or can Mr. Savings take a more responsible path out to 2020? Um, there's still a lot of pressure on him, uh, despite the share um, surge today. They're still trading at very low prices, just over 10 euros now. Um, it was about 12, um, a per, uh, sorry, 12 euros when he took over in April. Um, so he's still overseeing a decline in the share price, and investors are still demanding um, a quick return to profitability. Um, so I think there's still a lot of pressure on him to perform and maybe um, uh, certainly reach the targets that he unveiled when he took over. Stephen, we're also seeing, of course, some job losses. We saw some cost saving. We saw trading a little bit better. We saw net income better. How much of it is actually down to the current chief executive, Mr. Saving? That's, I think, a very difficult uh, question to answer, and we'll probably have to wait um, for the um, official publication of the quarterly results um, next week um, because uh, the uh, the the company filing today is not very detailed, um, so it's hard to say if this is anything to do with, this, with, the current, with the new CEO or if it's just pure luck. For example, they do say that um, credit spreads have been widening, which uh, uh, leads to a certain accounting effect, but actually uh, widening credit, credit spreads for a bank is not a good thing. So it's a bit weird, and we'll need more detail from the bank to say if uh, Sevin can take any credit for these right. results. Right, but uh, Steve, do we know if at this point he has the backing of big shareholders? He's new in the job. He needs that backing if he's going to make a difference. Well, I think he does. Um, the what I've been, what I've been hearing uh, uh, from people is that they uh, that they're giving him some time at least. And if uh, the bank now presents uh, a surprisingly good results, whether or not they can be credited to Seving, that's certainly going to help him and give him some tailwind. So I do think he's got still got the backing of investors. They do want the share price to rise. It just did today uh, considerably. So yeah, I think uh, we can say they are backing him at the moment.